Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Java developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about the return type of arrays.as list and why certain list operations aren't allowed. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's start by understanding the return type of the method arrays.as list. This method is used to convert an array into a fixed size list. When you call arrays.aslist with an array, it returns a list that is backed by the original array. This means that the list reflects changes made to the array. However, this fixed size list does not support adding or removing elements. This is why you encounter exceptions when trying to call methods like add or remove. In summary, while list2 is indeed a list, it is a special type that does not implement all list methods due to its fixed size nature. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The return type of arrays.as list is a fixed size list backed by an array. This means you get a list, but it's structurally immutable, so you can't change its size. You can modify elements using the set method, but other structural changes will throw exceptions. The main purpose of arrays.slist is to quickly create a fixed list of objects, not to provide a fully mutable list. Some users find this behavior inconsistent, expecting either a completely immutable list or a fully functional one. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The return type of arrays.as list is java.util arrays.arraylist. This is a fixed size list, not to be confused with java.utArrayList. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The arrays.aslist method returns an object from a private static inner class called ArrayList, which extends abstract list and implements the list interface. This ArrayList is different from the public java.util.arrayList. The inner array list class does not override the add methods from abstract list, which means calling add will throw an unsupported operation exception. In summary, the return type of arrays.s list is a private inner class that behaves differently from the standard array list, particularly regarding adding elements. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The return type of arrays.as list is a fixed-sized list. This means it implements the list interface but does not allow changes to the list size.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The return type of arrays.as list is a list, but it's important to note that this list is a fixed size view of an array. You can't add or remove elements from it. This list implementation is private to the arrays class and extends abstract list. It does not support modifying methods like add or remove. The list returned by arrays.as list is unmodifiable, which means it can be useful for security and multi-threading. It protects against accidental changes. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.